and now we live in a world where free speech is basically gone. It's total. Everything is conditional, and we have the heckler's veto. One person makes a complaint, and a nativity scene is taken down. One person makes a complaint and the school district changes their calendar from saying it's the Christmas holiday to calling it a winter break. And, and just for, for the record, I had nothing to do with either of those things. That was not me. It was not me. Different Even though you are a re resident agent. Different, different, not me. <laughs> I thought that the, the really interesting thing about this article was how it does illustrate the, the, a great familiar left tactic that we haven't probably recognized enough that it's happening. We sort of lurch from event to event sometimes in conservatism without seeing a bigger picture of patterns of left behavior. And I think that by identifying patterns of left behavior, we can begin to develop strategies and uh, responses and tactics that will neutralize them to some degree. And the, the most important sentence to me in this whole thing was uh, after the resistance is transactional concept he says that means they can win bullies can win by raising the cost of resisting above what the victims are willing to pay and when you were talking about not having any general principle that we're defending when we give up it's that it's people that are making the calculation it's more important to have this than to stand for that principle. And I'm not willing that, to stand up for Brendan Eich. I don't like him enough. He's not he's not the most awesome CEO that Mozilla has ever had. We'll be fine without him. So let's just allow him to resign and we'll move on because the cost of defending against the bully is higher than I'm willing to pay. And John, we can see that a lot in Everything from you know, events at colleges like you're talking about or uh, even high schools we're seeing some of this. The loud uh, heckler veto principle is sort of in effect. And, and lawsuits also are factored in because who can afford the lawfare fees? Here's the biggest thing I'm seeing that where I don't see this is what we're – I don't see all this as bullying or backing down to bullying. What it really is, is these people agree with the bullies, all right? Europe is led by leftists, okay, by, by a lot of leftists. They, leftists like Islam <laughs> for the most part. Oh, they, they hate getting overrun by it in the end, but they, they love the fact that Islam wants to control people. We want to control people, and they get along in that way. Almost every case example we just reeled off that you guys were reeling off of backing down were basically left-leaning or leftist leaders backing down to threats that, quite honestly, they don't have big problems with. We're, we're looking at two different things here. You have conservatives getting bullied by, you know, being kept off of college campuses or whatever, uh, and you have students in high schools that are being bullied by administration, et cetera, because they wore a particular shirt on, say, the Cinco de Mayo thing that we're talking about. Conservatives are under attack specifically, and that's a subset of the larger thing, which is allowing bullying tactics to justify what, say, a leftist administration or a leftist country leadership would not admit to going along with. So the bullying becomes sort of cover for them. Even though they agree, they don't want to be seen to agree with certain things and certain tactics, so they would make this the excuse. Do you see what I'm saying there? Oh, absolutely. You're saying it's passive-aggressive? Is that what you're saying? It provides them the cover to do what they want to do, blaming someone that they can distance themselves from uh, you know, in the political realm, but still support them by caving into them. Right, and, but I, I would also, you know, no, I totally agree. Also, like with, with you know, a university saying, well, we're not going to let Ann Coulter or some conservative come here because, you know, and it looks like, and they act like they're giving in the bullying. They're not. They agree. They don't want the conservative there. This is a convenient cover. It's a convenient excuse. It's awesome to see that, hey, it's not all doom and gloom, guys. 
we have been able to accomplish some stuff in, over the past few years with the uh, conservatives in the House of Representatives. I mean, even even without having the Senate, we've been able to accomplish some stuff. We've been able to cut some some serious spending.